One of the things I always say is don't force what God hasn't endorsed. And because of the discomfort of the tension of transition, because we want resolution, because we want to get through the hallway out the other door, we 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 either kick the door in, we we go through the wrong door, we we try to manipulate doors, we 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 do all sorts of things. And when we do that, it feels for a moment as if we've come through the other side, but actually we we realize that we circumvented the process and actually we have not moved forward. We're, we, we might be in a different room. We might be in a different job, but we'll find out very quickly that that was not the room or the job or the relationship that God actually wanted us to be in. And so we'll end up having to go through the whole process again. Gosh, because we missed what he wanted because us we, to teach. Because we tried what? to skip a grade. We tried to go from grade five to grade seven. And mm. We, we tried to skip grade six and God says, no, you can't skip a grade. Correct. And so when we try to do that, we have to go back and start the whole thing again. And, and I, I have seen that in my own life where, you know, sometimes, sometimes we are stuck, not because God is holding us back, but just because there's things in our hearts and our lives that we simply will not relinquish that we will not let go of. There's there's stuff there that we just are clinging on to. And God is just sitting going, I am ready, actually, but you're not. And we're getting frustrated with God saying, God, why isn't this door opening? And God saying, you know, remember six months I told you that this habit is going to be a hindrance to you and you're still doing it? Why, why are you expecting me to fulfill your desires when you won't obey my word and so we're trying to short circuit we're trying to circumvent what god wants us to do i know in my own life that has been the case there have been times when i thought god was holding me back when actually craig was holding craig back and god was ready <laughs> craig just wasn't willing to forsake the things that god was telling me to let go off And so when we push or rush, we will get a result sometimes because in our own effort and our own ingenuity and our own wisdom, we can produce something. We can produce a result. But it's not the thing that God has for us.